Meghan Markle hinted at some exciting baby plans as she was shown innovative toddler equipment alongside Prince Harry in Northern Ireland yesterday. Belfast crowds were given a shock as the pair arrived unannounced in the city, before going on a walkabout in the city centre, visiting the iconic Crown Liquor Saloon, a science park and Titanic Belfast Museum. During a visit to the Catalyst Inc. Science Park, Meghan, 33, made it quite clear she and Harry, 36, have already talked about children. Gesturing towards an baby bath, she said, I am sure at one point we will need the whole thing. Meghan looks up at her future husband during their Belfast visit image. Getty Images Europe, the rain did not dampen Meghan's spirits as she joked and charted to fans. Image, wire image, they headed to the city without any announcement. Image, Getty Images Europe, Meghan visited the Acon Exhibition Center in Lisbon. Image, PA, Meghan attended an event to mark the second year a youth-led peace-building initiative. Image, PA, the couple chatted to staff in a pub. Image, Getty Images Europe, they looked in high spirits as they left the Crown Bar. Image, Reuters, huge crowds turned out to see the couple after they found out they were in the city. Image, PA, the couple's upcoming wedding was also a topic of discussion. Royal fan Ellen Hawthorne, 38, who married husband Nathan last August, said, I suggested New Zealand as a honeymoon destination because I went the last year for a month after my wedding. Mrs. Hawthorne, from Ballyclare, north of Belfast, said, I told her. It was lovely and she said should keep it in mind. The royal wedding was also the conversation topic for Alex McConkie, 52, when she charted to the couple, I told them congratulations and that I was really, really happy for them. Prince Harry praised the movement and hinted to the turbulent history of Northern Ireland, declaring, over the years religion has divided us but we're all the same underneath. The visit to Belfast is the latest in their unofficial UK tour which has taken in cities including London, Edinburgh and Cardiff. The loved-up pair touched down at Belfast City Airport after 10am to begin a string of royal engagements. After chatting with member of Amazing the Space, launched by Prince Harry in September the 2017 they went to Crown Liquor Saloon, which is one of Belfast's most historic buildings. They learnt from National Trust representatives about the pub's heritage, as well as meeting bar staff and local comedians and musicians. She also wore her hair in a messy bun and her heels were by Jimmy Choo, image, PA. Harry looks on in disgust at some prosthetic limbs made by the Titanic FX company, image, PA. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle speak with Chris Martin, co-founder of Skunkworks, image, AFP. Then they headed to the Science Park and finally Titanic Belfast. Upon his arrival, Harry was presented with a model of the Titanic by six-year-old Leighton Jackson and Rosie Jackson, four, gave Meghan a posy of flowers. The couple chatted to the children and shook their hands before moving to the next stage of the engagement. The Titanic Belfast Center was voted the world's leading tourist attraction at the prestigious World Travel Awards in 2016. Titanic Belfast tells the story of the liner, from its conception in Belfast in the early 1900s, through to the construction, launch and subsequent sinking in April 1912. More than 1,500 lives were lost after the ship struck an iceberg on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York. They visited Catalyst Inc., Northern Ireland's Next Generation Science Park, Image, Getty Images Europe, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spoke with Steve Orr, co-founder and director of Connected Catalyst Inc., Image, AFP. The royal couple listened attentively during a visit to Northern Ireland's Next Generation Science Park, Image, AFP. Titanic Belfast chief executive Judith Owens told the Press Association that Ms. Markle had praised the warmth of the Belfast people. Speaking after the visit, Ms. Owens said, Meghan just said that she had really enjoyed today, that the people of Belfast were so friendly and they had really enjoyed the mix of the different places where they had been. She said, it has been lovely, everybody has been very warm and friendly, Ms. Owens said it was, great, to welcome the couple to the attraction on their first official visit to Northern Ireland. It's great because it's just before our sixth birthday and I think it was a really nice way to celebrate it, she said. I think they were very interested in it, the center. In particular I think Meghan Markle was very interested in the industrialization of Belfast and how the different industries developed and how Belfast had the wealth to build the biggest ships in the world.